Hi everyone, it's Mrs. DeLuca. Today I want to show you a service that we subscribe to from Junior Library Guild, and it's a streaming service for ebooks and audiobooks. So, in this time when it's a little bit hard to take books out from the library um, and we have a lot of restrictions in place, you'll have access to these ebooks and audiobooks, and they're available to you from home, from school, and on any device that you're using. So, um, you'll find a link to it on our main we, uh, website, the library website at www.amslibrary.com. I will also be posting a link on our Google Classroom, the library Google Classroom, and you will also receive an email with, from me with that link. So on the main page of the library website, you'll see where it says eBooks now available, and you'll see a link that says click here to access our book stream. So I'm going to click on that. When you click on that, you're going to be in our school's subscription. So you'll see over here to the left, it says Welcome to Institution of Comstock Middle School. And that tells you that you are in our account. And you are able to search for books and read books right from this screen. But you can also sign in to a personal account. And that allows you to keep track of the books you're reading, um, make highlights in those books and some other things that will personalize your experience. So I am going to sign in. Most of you should have an account because I set most, I've set pretty much all the students up with an account. And I'm going to use DD22. So it's your Google ID, but you don't have to put in the whole second half, which is at smithtown.k12.my.us. So you're just putting in that beginning with your initials and your letters, your numbers. And then you'll type in the password and I'm going to open this I so that we can see the password. And it's going to be a comp with a capital A, A C C O M P, and then sign in. Once you do that, you are in your own personal account. If for some reason you don't have an account, just come and see me and I'll set you up with one. When you're on the main page, you have two options here. You'll have the stream option, which is where all of the books that are available right now. So this is a rotating stream, meaning that some of these books are on here for about 60 to 90 days and they keep turning over. So every time you come on here, you may see different books. You'll see in the stream that you'll have the cover of the book. You'll also see the level. So most of ours are going to be middle school level. You'll see the title of the book and the author or authors. And then you'll see how many days that this book will be remaining in the stream. So you'll see this book has about 59 days left. And you'll see that for all of the books. When you find a book that you're interested in, so as I'm scrolling down, just say, I see something I like. Okay, so here's one. I can click on that. I can either click on the title or I can click on read to start reading it. So once I click on it, I'll see some more details about the book. So I see the title, the author, some publishing information, how many pages it is, how many stars it got as far as a rating, and then I will see a summary of the book. Once I'm done with the book, I'll also be able to give it a rating. When I'm ready to read it, I can just click on read and it will open the book right on my screen. So once the book is open, you'll see down here, you have the um, how many pages are remaining. So right now you have 81 pages remaining. We're on page I, this is the cover. To go ahead in pages, you can, or back in pages, you can click these arrows. So as you see, I click the arrows, the pages will turn. Um, you also have to the right here, this, this double arrow, which will bring you to the very last page of the book. And then this double arrow to the left will bring you to the first page of the book. So as you're reading through this, you can read it right on your screen and then you'll have other options. So right now you'll see that my cursor looks like a little tiny hand. So that gives me options to scroll. Right now this is, I'm seeing the entire page so I don't have to scroll. But I'm gonna show you some of the tools up here to the right. So you have the first tool, which is called the selection tool. And this is where you can go between your hand tool and your selection tool. So when I click on the selection tool, I'm able to highlight some of the text here. So just say I wanna highlight this area. And then you'll see this little thing pops up that says highlight. So I can click on that and then I can highlight this section if I like. So now that part is highlighted. So that's one thing I can do. So I can, as I'm reading through my book, if there are any passages that I want to highlight, I can do that. 
Um, the other thing I also have is a bookmark. So I have the option to add a bookmark. So if I click on that, it's asking me which page do I want to bookmark. So right now I have two pages that I can see. So do I want to uh, bookmark the left page, the right page, or both? So just say I want to just do the left page. Now you'll notice this turns red and there will be a bookmark for this page. Another thing I can do is zoom. So this next tool gives us some zoom settings. So right now it's on fit to height, which means I can see that the book from the top to the bottom. If I wanted to fit to width, it would stretch it out so I could see it, but I wouldn't see the entire page. So that's where my little hand tool comes in. I can drag and move this up so I could read the entire page. I also have the option to zoom 100%, which just gives me the entire thing. Zoom 200%, which just zooms in a little more. And then I can do a custom zoom. I also have this little slide bar, which allows me to, once I hit custom, it allows me to just go exactly to where I want. I'm just gonna go back to fit to height because that's the one I like the best. The next tool is a search tool. So you can just search for any text in the, um, in the book. So I know Abby happens to be the main character. If I typed in Abby, right now it's going to find every time that Abby is mentioned. So you'll see it gives a little blurb of the sentence. It also tells you what page number it's on. And if you click on it, you can automatically be taken to that page and you'll see where the highlight is. You also have another section that's just for some settings. This would be to rotate the book left or right. If you're on a regular computer, this might not be something you wanna do, but if you were on a tablet, you might wanna be able to rotate your screen. Then you have some page layout options. So single page is just looking at one page at a time. And then you would move your arrows back and forth to scroll through. Um, a double page would be being seen two pages at the same time. If we go to single page continuous, then it's going to be one page on top of another and you can just scroll through the pages this way. And the same thing for double page continuous. You would have two pages, but you could also scroll through the pages this way. So you have many options for how you can scroll through your book. And then your last section with the three dots gives you some other options, which is citation. And that is, if you click on that, you'll get the citation. So if you had to cite this book, if you were using it in one of your research projects, you would have the citation there. You would choose MLA, because that's what we usually use, but you also have the options for APA and Chicago. And you can copy the link and put it wherever you need. Another option you have is to print. And the last option here is to bring your book to full screen. So those are some of your options you have. So right now I'm in the continuous view, but if I wanted to just go to the double page view, it would be full screen. And back in my, the little three dots, I can exit full screen at any time. The other option you have to the left here, you'll see this, these three lines. And if I click on that, you'll notice as I hover my mouse over, it says contents. When I click on it, it will give me the table of contents and I can jump around to any part of the book I like. So if I wanna to go to chapter four, I can just click on chapter four and it takes me straight there. You'll also notice that I have a notebook option here and that's going to be anything that I've highlighted. And I also have a bookmark option here which is gonna show me anything in this book that I have bookmarked. I also have the ability to delete these bookmarks just by clicking the little trash can to the left, to the right. I'm going to go back to my main page by clicking on the other tab. Once I, when I open a book, it opens in a new tab. So I still have the previous tab open. And then I can click back and that will take me back to the main stream. You'll also see you have an option for recently read. So when I click on that, I will see any books that I've read already and I can open them as well. If I'm in the middle of reading something, it will also appear here. So I do want to go back to the stream for one minute just to show you one other thing. You'll notice on each book that you'll see a little icon in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, this little icon that you're seeing right now means that that is an ebook. 
You also have another icon that looks like a headset, and that means it's an audiobook. Okay, so if I click on an audiobook, I can start playing it right in my browser. Eagle Song by Joseph Bruchak, narrated by the author. Now you also have options here to go back 15 seconds, to go forward 15 seconds. This next will flip chapter you through two. the chapters. Go slowly. So if you wanted to jump to the next chapter, you could do that as well. You have a volume control here, and you also have a bookmark feature here. So when you get to a certain part in the book, you can click on that, and the next time you come on, you can find your place. Also, you'll see there is the content, and you have a bookmarks um, option where you'll see any bookmarks that you have made. So that is a basic overview of our new streaming service. And please feel free to contact me or pop into the library if you have any questions or want to learn more about it. I hope you take advantage of this new service. Thanks and have a great day.